Warm greetings from the High Ten. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Sunday, February 23rd, 2020. I want to bring you an update to the story deriving out of Sullivan County, uh, Tennessee. There is currently an Amber Alert for Evelyn May Boswell. She is still missing. And I want to bring you the said update by WHNT TV. Vigil held for missing toddler from Tennessee. The search continues for a missing 15-month-old girl from Sullivan County, Tennessee. TBI officials say Evelyn Boswell has been missing since December, but she was only reported missing last Tuesday. William McLeod and Angela Boswell, Evelyn's 42-year-old grandmother, were arrested Friday after they were found in a gray BMW that officials in Tennessee were searching for in connection with the Amber Alert. Both McLeod and Boswell faced charges of possession of stolen property. Sullivan County Sheriff Jeff Cassidy said after interviews with Boswell's mother, a lot of information appears to be inaccurate, not matching video surveillance or eyewitness testimony. A group of mothers in Virginia held a candlelight vigil Saturday to pray for her safe, safe return. They say they hope the event will raise awareness to aid in the process of getting her home and the missing 15-month-old reminds them of their own children. Many are shocked and saddened that Evelyn Boswell was not reported missing much sooner. Amen to that. If you need verification for the storyline, please log on to your local news break app or WHNT. TV. This was updated five hours ago, Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so a vigil was held in Virginia uh, in for Miss uh, Evelyn. I'm praying that she is safely returned or any said information will be brought forth to where she can be located. This is a sad and tragic event once again, plaguing our country, our towns, our cities. So many children are going missing. So many children are not reported missing. So many children are not reported even harmed, mistreated by their caregivers, parents, guardians. And it needs to stop. It's nonstop BS. This is why you have to keep up open eye. As I say, a lot of people don't like to get involved in other people's affairs. But sometimes you have to do the right thing. You have to do what is right for the child because he or she doesn't ask to be here. A lot of interesting information, I must say. A lot of interesting information. Now they're saying in this said account that her information appears to be inaccurate, not matching video surveillance or eyewitness testimony. So that means the Sheriff's Department, TBI, FBI have talked to other civilians pertaining to this missing child, and I guess they have given their account of something, and it does not coincide with the information that Miss Megan Boswell, the mother of the missing child, has given. Gee, I don't think we're shocked by that, are we? And I can only imagine what others have said pertaining to this missing child. Mercy, mercy me. Shiny V, are you listening? If only we could be a fly on the wall. What did I tell you about that? We'd fall off and get head injuries if we were a fly on the wall, especially pertaining to this case here. A lot of things aren't adding up. Don't make any sense. I can't put my finger on it. I don't think anybody can put their finger on this one. The only person that knows the truth, the spoken word, is Megan Boswell. She knows what happened to that baby. She knows where that baby is. Will she reveal the truth? I don't know. But I think it's sad. I think it's sad for anyone to even have to be publicly talking about a missing baby, period, let alone making a YouTube video about a missing baby. It's disgusting. Outright disgusting and outlandish. And I can only imagine... We're not even in a full week since the Amber Alert has been issued. And look at all the sh shenanigans that have popped up since Tuesday when the alert went out. We're just at Sunday. I can only imagine what will unfold by Tuesday. 
Will we have little clowns jumping out of cars, perhaps? Oh, yes. I believe so. Because I believe somebody's going to finally talk. Somebody's going to finally break. Or somebody's going to come out of the shed and they're going to have a whole lot to testify to. And then somebody's going to have to change their story. Because let me tell you something I've noticed in watching true crime stories unfold, people giving their accounts of things that happen. A lot of people can't hold water. A lot of people have to tell somebody something. Half of a truth, the whole truth, a bit of the truth. And you learn this after the fact, after a crime has been committed, that all along, somebody knew something. They just kept their mouth shut. Now why? An alleged, civilized, decent human, human being would not come forward with said information pertaining to a missing person, baby, deceased person, baby, is a mystery to me. It's baffling and it's just foul as hell to never tell the truth when you know somebody has committed a crime against another human. And the fact that you can sleep every night and never say anything it says a lot about you and your character. And some people will spin the way of that, oh, I feared for my safety. I, I, I was worried they might do something to me. What have I told many of you? A lot of these people walking around out here, they ain't nothing but fluff, talk, smoke. Because talk is cheap. Most of these people won't do nothing to you. Oh, yeah, they might have killed somebody, knocked somebody off. That don't mean they'll do it to you. Someone would think, well, they could. Yeah, they could. But they also stupid enough to tell you what they did. So that lets you know a lot about them. If you know anything pertaining to anybody's disappearance or death, you should come forward and tell the truth. Because there's no need in you living in fear of this person that's giving you the said information. Tell the truth. Because in the end, you're just as complicit of knowing where they are after the fact as if you were actually there when the crime took place. And I don't know how anybody can walk around and sleep at night knowing they have information of a deceased human being. Because you know, one day that might be you out there missing and you would want someone to come forward and tell anything they knew about your disappearance and your demise. So, Think about that. And frankly, I'm tired of hearing the people needing to put on the shoe of somebody else to have empathy. That lets me know, really, you know better than the criminal. If you don't have any empathy inside of you, you know better than the criminal. Like and share. Drop your comments below. Thanks for joining me. Let's get this baby home. Please, somebody, notify TBI. Sullivan County Sheriff's Department about this child if you have any said information pertaining to the disappearance of Evelyn May Boswell. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.